Buying a house may be the single biggest investment of your life, an investment regularly made possible by a mortgage. But hold on, what exactly is a mortgage? A mortgage is a loan from a bank or other financial institution that allows someone to purchase a house with a down payment. To understand how a mortgage works, let's consider Jen and Chris. Jen and Chris have found their dream house, which is selling for $300,000. They have $50,000 to put toward a down payment, $25,000 from their personal savings, $10,000 from their RRSPs, and $15,000 given to them by their parents as a gift. The outstanding $250,000 is the value of the mortgage required to purchase the house. A mortgage provider will lend Jen and Chris $250,000 in exchange for regular interest and principal payments over an agreed upon period of time. If they buy their house with less than 20% down, their lender will have them also purchase CMHC insurance. This protects the lender if Jen and Chris were unable to make their payments. Gradually, home buyers like Jen and Chris build what's called equity in their home by making regular mortgage payments. As they do, lenders will lose more and more of their stake in Jen and Chris's house. Although all mortgages come with an interest rate attached, home buyers must choose between a fixed or variable mortgage rate. Which you choose will depend on your financial flexibility and your appetite for risk. A fixed rate commits you to a specified interest rate and a fixed monthly payment schedule. With a fixed rate, you know exactly how much you'll be paying each month and you can budget accordingly. This is one of the reasons why people choose fixed rates. Selecting a variable rate, on the other hand, means your mortgage payments will fluctuate with the prime rate, also known as prime lending rate, as set by the Bank of Canada. For example, a rate may be listed as prime minus 0.6% or prime plus 0.2%. Though the relationship to prime stays constant, your interest rate will change as prime fluctuates. People opt for variable rates as they are often lower than fixed rates. They do, however, carry more risk. Prime always has the potential to increase. When selecting a mortgage rate, there is another important variable involved, time. The amortization period is the time a homeowner takes to pay off his entire mortgage. This period can be as long as 35 years. Longer amortization periods allow homeowners to make smaller monthly payments. Keep in mind, however, that the longer a homeowner takes to pay off his mortgage, the more overall interest he'll pay. A term is shorter than the amortization period and is the amount of time a homebuyer commits to the rules, conditions, and interest rate they have agreed to with their lender. Terms can last anywhere from six months to 10 years, with the average term in Canada lasting close to five years. Many mortgage shoppers will begin at their bank, though banks are not the only place to get a mortgage. Now more than ever, people are turning to independent mortgage brokers for the best advice and most competitive rates. Independent mortgage brokers have access to multiple lenders, including the big banks, so they can find the best mortgage and the most competitive rate for their client. And their services are free as they earn commission from the lender. A competitive broker is able to offer low rates because of the volume of his business. Lenders actually give these brokers interest rate discounts. Discounts which are passed directly to their clients. Once you've selected your mortgage provider, you can start the mortgage application process. If you've already bought a house, you are ready to apply for a mortgage. If you're just starting to look, you can apply for a pre-approval. In order to determine if you are eligible for a mortgage, lenders consider three basic things. Your credit rating, your down payment as a percentage of your total home value, and finally, your annual income. Lenders look at your credit rating to determine how good you are at paying your bills on time. Past credit card payments, car payments, and personal loans can all be used to determine your score. The more equity you have invested in your house, i.e. the higher your down payment as a percent of your home's value, the more likely you are to qualify. In Canada, the minimum down payment required is 5%. Finally, the combined annual salary of co-applicants or spouses helps lenders determine which homes and mortgages they can afford. To estimate the size of the mortgage you qualify for, visit our website, ratehub.ca, and access our affordability calculator.
Now that you're more familiar with the mortgage process, get started by connecting with a mortgage provider you can trust. RateHub.ca brings you the most competitive rates from the best mortgage providers all to one place. Visit us today at RateHub.ca to find the lowest rate, the best service, and access to the most up-to-date mortgage information.